It might just be the end of the infotainment industry as we know it, and Hollywood and the mainstream media, they seem to have no idea. They're fighting this tooth and nail. Hey, everybody, I'm Steve Green with Bill Whittle and Scott Ott. This is Right Angle, brought to you by the paying members of BillWhittle.com. And, gents, listen to this. I put this list together in, like, 18 seconds this morning. I'm not exaggerating. So you, you, you know how lazy I am. But, but this is all stuff that is either uh, uh, new or been brought uh, with new elements to light in just, just the last couple of weeks. Uh, we know producer Harvey Weinstein, actor-director Kevin Spacey made the big news this weekend. Uh, NBC News analyst Mark Halperin, or former, he's been canned. Uh, director Brian Singer, New Republic publisher Hamilton Fish, director Roman Polanski, child actor rep Marty Weiss, uh, former Fox News chief Roger Ailes, comedian Andy Dick, loudmouth Bill O'Reilly, boy band producer Lou Perlman, fashion photographer Terry Richardson, and I could have had more, but honestly, I was just, I was too disgusted by the whole thing, and that's not what I want to talk about today, thank goodness. Let's just leave the disgusting allegations and stories and, and, and all the rest aside for right now. I want to talk about the level of denial that is still going on in this uh, in this infotainment industry. Uh, Bill, your newspaper record out there in Los Angeles, the, uh, the Los Angeles Times, they published a story today, and I swear I'm not making up this this headline it says Hollywood's man problem may be a matter of simple math and the the argument of this story is Hollywood is dominated by men therefore it is dominated by rapists it is not like this in the rest of the country I promise you what, what what's going on out there Bill one person filed this complaint against Harvey Weinstein and then the then then the dam burst and yeah. out comes everything and the person my understanding the person who who started this uh uh landslide was essentially no nobody well known there are a lot of powerful women out in Hollywood people who are never who are never have to worry about getting jobs again they're going to be working as long as they want to they stepped forward and said oh this happened to me this happened to me but they all did it after this essentially this 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 lowly, in Hollywood terms, nobody, you know, had the courage to stand up and, and say so. So you've got, listen, it, it, to the degree that it's men doing it, it's virtually true. I haven't heard any names on this list that are women, although I've seen that happen, and I know that happens to some degree as well. But, but if there are a lot of women the, that are certainly complicit, aren't there? Well, there's certainly women. There's certainly women executives in Hollywood that do the same thing to men. That, uh, there's no question about this. I've I, I have friends who've had this happen to them. Um, but so let's, when you don't report something, it, it, here's what I'm trying to say. When you have this culture of fear, of retribution, which is what Hollywood is, you have to find somebody with the moral courage to stand up and be the first person out of the gate and, and say, this is what happened. And this is not the first time <laughs> that these kind of allegations have come out. I mean, there were charges, uh, 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 um, not charges, just anecdotes about, you know, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, the, the, Which one? Weinstein? No, 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 no. Brett Ratner. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and this story came out a, a year or two ago, and I remember being disgusted by it, and, and, and people didn't pick it up. So I think the problem is, if you really want to put my finger on the problem, I would have to say the problem is that the media has been complicit in this. Harvey Weinstein allegedly had a basically an arrangement with the New York Times that said, look, if somebody comes up and says something, talk to me first so my team could take care of it. We'll write him a check and so on. Wow. Um, the, the trades must know this goes on. I mean, they, th this entire town is a, is a, it, it's a swamp where, where, Deals are signed in the flesh. I think that's Jeremy Boring's term. But that's really it. And you have no idea how extensive it is. And like I say, I think there's a lot of nervous people out there. And um, it seems like this time it's going to make a difference. It seems like there is a seismic shift underfoot here, which is long overdue. It's, um, it's a different world out there. Well, I had a follow-up for you, but it sounds like you're going to cover that in the firewall, so I'll just direct people to that uh, when that comes out later. Uh, listen, Scott, the, the level of denial isn't just uh, uh, 
you know, a, a couple of people writing for the Los Angeles Times. MS or uh, NBC News waited uh, uh, too long a time to let uh, Mark Halperin go after his bad behavior came out. And as late as Friday, you had uh, 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 Morning Joe and Mika practically defending him, saying, our hearts break to find this out, is, uh, is, is what Mika said on Friday. And then, this is the one that, that, that really got me. Uh, Kim Richards, the CEO of Allied Artists, said uh, about Kevin Spacey, I'm not excusing anything. If he did it, it was clearly wrong and can't be excused, but it was 30 years ago while admittedly drunk. So who among us hasn't gotten drunk and tried to molest a 14-year-old? Who is so stupid um, and, and as to vouch for somebody for the last three decades, which is what that person just did. I don't know if Kim is a man yeah. or a woman. Um, it's one of man. those names that can go either way, like Chris or Pat. But who, who is so stupid as to say, well, yes, we have one account of something that happened uh, from one person's point of view 30 years ago. So we're going to write off any possibility that Kevin Spacey's done anything since then. Okay, now I don't think that he should also be assumed that he's done hundreds of things or thousands of terrible things since then. But it just idiots that would come out and even speak to the media on topics like this. Look, in Hollywood, they create two kinds of fake stories. The first kind of fake story gets seen in movie theaters and then later on DVD or, you know, through iTunes. The second kind of fake story gets seen on cable news channels and read in the newspapers. And those are the fantasy stories they make up about the lives of the people who perform in the first kinds of stories. And they've been doing that since film existed. And they've been literally, I mean, the Hollywood film industry, uh, you should listen to a podcast called You Must Remember This. It just documents the first hundred years of Hollywood's history. These uh, studio executives would create marriages. They would yep. make up relationships be yep. uh, between two people. In fact, in fact, they would take a, an actor who they knew to be a homosexual and they would create a marriage relationship between that actor and a female just to boost his box office and to keep him you know, in the money, so to speak. So these people have been doing this for years. And you, you, you know, your heart has to go out to somebody who's a young actress who has done nothing but you know perform on the stage since she was four years old, tap dancing in front of her, you know, Girl Scout troop or whatever, or her mother's like a little soiree at, and uh, tea party, and now has finally gotten to Hollywood and has gotten her big break. And what she finds out is what a freshman congressman finds out, which is if you want to play at this game, you've got to get down in the mud with the rest of the pigs and you've got to shut up about it. And yeah. this makes me sick. And I'm not, I'm not saying anything to, uh, to say, oh, well, these women should have been brave. Um, you don't know what happens to people who are brave. I mean, when it, it's, they will destroy you. Oh, I, I know mean, what Harvey, happens to them. Well, you know what people, yeah. But yeah. Harvey Weinstein and others like him, Kevin Spacey and the whole, they have a whole industry designed to destroy anybody who's going to cut off their cash stream. Now, to Netflix's credit, they have said that they are dropping House of Cards, which is Kevin Spacey's, uh, you know, show. However, they're dropping it after the sixth season. So they're going to, you which know, Which they've like, only barely started production on, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're, they're you know, going to drop this. Well, what would happen Let's, is this the, the appropriate reaction to allegations of, of, of pederasty? Well, let's see what happens now when more of these names start coming out. Is Hollywood going to shut down? Yeah. The, By uh, the way. The, oh, yeah. Sorry, Bill. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no. Just it, this is not a major point in this whole thing, but it does bear mentioning. Uh, there's probably something like 70 people now who are out of work saying, thanks very much, Kevin. Really appreciate it. You know, I mean, when you say that a House of Cards is canceled. Yeah. And Spacey doesn't have a show anymore. That's true. But everybody else who worked on that show doesn't have a job anymore either because of his actions. And if you have a, if you have a running show in this town, it's essentially like it's a, it's a miracle. Yeah. If, you get, if you get on a, a, a show that's a success and you work consistently for five years, I worked for five years on the same show, unheard of. It was like, it was, it was like, it was like a turtle life, you know, it was amazing. Um, and now those people are out of work as well. And they're overworked like that. Yeah. And you know, somebody uh, at Instapunted, I think today, pointed out that the actual unemployment rate in Hollywood for actors is about 90%. Uh, seems and so, seems so uh, got, low to me. Yeah, it, it may well be. And, a, and that of that 
it's not your full time gig. Uh, you know, half of that ten percent is uh, you know still uh, the, the waiting tables or whatever. And, and and so you've got a very few gatekeepers like uh, like like Weinstein who control your access to great fame and riches. So the, the, this, uh, stories like this kind of bring out my uh, uh, dismal view of human nature that I, I, I try and suppress, that even if we clear these bastards out, because of that nexus of fame and fortune, we're just going to get a, a a whole new crop of bastards. And I, I hope that's not the case. What I can tell you for sure is, is that out here in flyover country, we are mad. We've always suspected this is going on, and, and now we're watching not just the revelations, but the denials and the defense of these monsters by people who have known and, and, and should have known and do know. And we are so mad out here that in New York and, and, and Hollywood and even in D.C., I don't think they get it. It put Trump into office. It may tear down Hollywood. It may tear down the, 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 the DNC media complex. I don't know. But I do know this. Out here in flyover country, we are done. We are finished being lectured by these Hollywood types who who, who who morally posture over the rest of us and lord it over the rest of us. And to borrow a Hollywood line, we're as mad as hell and we're not going to take this anymore. And that's your right angle on that. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, click on over to BillWhittle.com. Become a member yourself. We'd, we'd love to have you. And we'll see you next time.